What's up? My name is Technobo here for Triple Shoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, let's talk about Minecraft screen tearing and how to fix it. This has been a highly requested topic, so let's just get into it. Usually, screen tearing happens when your PC and your monitor aren't talking correctly or there's a lack of frames or too many frames going either way. Usually, the top half, bottom half, or even more sections of it aren't synced up, so they're displaying a frame or two off, making a really obvious screen tearing effect with the top half and the bottom half of your screen, more likely than not, don't match up at the same time. There's a few ways that we can fix this before we go all the way to upgrading hardware or changing out a monitor. To start off, before we even get into Minecraft, let's check our PC settings. First of all, make sure that you've updated your graphics drivers and of course, Windows as well. Then we can head into software like NVIDIA Control Panel or AMD's equivalent, even Intel's equivalent, and on the Change Resolution tab here, we'll simply make sure that whatever monitor we're currently using has the correct resolution and refresh rate selected here. There's usually tons of different options. All we need to do is find what's compatible with our screen. Usually it'll have a native next to it. Then the refresh rate once more. Usually this will have a max of your monitor's refresh rate, but sometimes can go a bit higher due to software misconfigurations. All you need to do is check your box or Google your monitor by checking the details up here to see exactly what your monitor's refresh rate and resolution should be. Mine being an ultra wide should be set to 3440 by 1440 and then 144 or 165 Hertz. These are both compatible frame rates and resolutions for me. A 16 by nine resolution, which is what you're watching this video as 2560 by 1440 is also compatible and works well with my screen. Assuming you don't have the NVIDIA control panel, we can hit start, type in display, and open up display settings. Alternatively, open up settings, head to system, then display. Select whatever monitor you're having issues with, scroll down, choose the display resolution that matches your display. In my case, 2560 by 1440 or 3440 by 1440 recommended. You can see Windows here, unlike at the NVIDIA control panel, is offering me a resolution that's not specifically supported by my display, so selecting the highest option isn't always the best. Then at the very bottom, advanced display, inside of here, we can select the display once more at the very top, and we can customize the refresh rate of our monitor here. In this case, I can choose 165 or 143.91 instead of 144. For whatever reason, this has gone down a little bit, I assume that's just math in the PC going wrong somewhere. Regardless, selecting this should be 144. In this case, 99.98 would be 100, and it might be a little bit happier if that's closer to the correct frame rate that we should have on our monitor. Once you've made sure that the resolution and refresh mode matches what your monitor should be, we can check a few more things. If you have an AMD FreeSync or NVIDIA G-Sync monitor, the latter of which needs an NVIDIA graphics card as well, I'm quite sure, you can enable G-Sync. In my case, I have this off as it sometimes leads to flickering on my setup. However, you can enable it here and then choose enable for full screen mode or enable for windowed and full screen mode for whatever G-Sync monitors you have available. By simply doing so, you should immediately get rid of practically all screen tearing if you support AMD FreeSync or NVIDIA G-Sync. But the rest of this tutorial will actually head into the game as we've pretty much done all that we can on Windows. Inside of the Minecraft launcher, here's where the next bit of optimization comes around. Obviously, we can just play vanilla Minecraft. However, I'd highly recommend installing, say, Optifine or even Fabric and using Sodium lithium and other mods like that to get better FPS. In the description down below, you'll find some resources linked in that regard, but I'll be showing you Optifine in this case, as everything else is pretty similar. Basically, they give you more options than what you usually have by default. If I fire up Vanilla Minecraft, first of all, to show you how to fix it there, you'll see that we get far more options and usually much better FPS using mods like Optifine, Sodium, etc. On the vanilla main menu, I'll head into options, then video settings, and inside of here, you'll usually see a handful of options. What we're looking for is max frame rate. All we're going to do here is lower it from unlimited or whatever number it is to match our monitor's refresh rate, or at least as close as you can get. In this case, maybe 140, 100, or even all the way down to 60. Even though this is lower than my monitor's refresh rate, it may help alleviate 
screen tearing and issues like that. Heck, if you're getting around 60 FPS in game but it dips below quite often, maybe you'll want to lower it to 50 or even 40. There's something even better than playing around with frame rates yourself. I'll drag it back to unlimited and I'll enable VSync here. By doing so, it should match our screen's refresh rate and output only that number of frames and always that number of frames, meaning that we should never get screen tearing in Minecraft. Super simple. After doing so, click done, head back to your game, and things should be a lot better. But what about, say, Optifine and Sodium? Well, in the Minecraft launcher, I'll select Optifine here and fire into it. Then you can see this is modded. I'll head into options, then video settings, and you'll see things are laid out a bit differently. Max frame rate. Usually you can drag this all the way down to zero and it'll reflect VSync, but in this case it's showing zero for some reason. Very weird. Done, done, and head into our world to see if things have improved. Never mind, I think that's an issue with the Optifine pre release version I was using. It should definitely show VSync. So if you see something like that, just make sure to update Optifine and select VSync there. Anyways, another fix that we can try is heading into options, then under performance, using things like VSync, we can try and turn on options here to improve FPS in the game, as well as turning down other things like details, animations, quality, lowering the render distance and simulation distance, lowering from fancy to fast graphics, etc. All of these little optimization tips to try and get better FPS in Minecraft, even though we're not necessarily going to use them. It just helps fix the issue of making too few frames rather than not making enough. It just helps fix the issue of not making enough frames to keep a smooth experience. Once again, it's usually a balance between performance and FPS output, so you'll regularly need to check the max frame rate here and set it to either VSync or an option that matches your display. One final fix and tip is that in the resource packs section here, Sometimes you may find that certain resource packs and texture packs don't work well with Optifine, Sodium or other mods, and could cause screen tearing issues, especially if your PC has an issue with something specific in the code or texture resolution. There's an infinite number of reasons, but just try and disable whatever texture packs you have or try different texture packs to see if it fixes your issue. Anyways, that's really about it for getting rid of screen tearing in Minecraft. Hopefully some of these tips helped you. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.